this is AutoCAD uh, 2022 version uh, in this first lesson we will uh, learn the uh, basic things of AutoCAD here are the toolbars and navigation bars so first of all whenever uh, you will open uh, this AutoCAD then this uh, such type of screen will appear here first of all uh, uh, you need to check here this is model this is model space and and these are called paper space so we are working here in this model space first of all we need to uh, I did uh, we need to define the units so if we type UN then units will come so click here this is drawing unit length so from the drop down list you can choose uh, decimal decimal engineering fractional scientific so uh, we will select this decimal unit here precision uh, precision range you can uh, choose from the drop down list let's uh, select up to two digit angle decimal degree gradient radians degree minute second so we will use this decimal degrees and here this is the unit of measurement for unit less you can you can choose also but this is not recommended uh, if you want to choose uh, feet inches then feet inches uh, miles uh, millimeter centimeter kilometer so these are the uh, scales required so uh, let's uh, select this millimeter only millimeter okay here sample out this is the output if you change here you will see these are the changes this is engineering uh, some of this is scientific so uh, these are the samples it will look like this so we will choose here decimal okay so decimal decimal degree millimeter and now click okay now this is the command bar so uh, whatever you want to do you, uh, you need to type here or give some shortcut uh, command first of all uh, what we can see this is line tool so click here left click and here as you can see the it is it is uh, telling that specify first point specify first point and here also in the command word it is automatically it is asking for the like specify first point so we need to we need to click click left click once for the first point and here at the right hand side of this cursor you can see these these values are changing these values are changing because this, this is the coordinate okay if you if you want to turn off this you need to press F12 from your keyboard suppose I am pressing F12 now it is gone again press it is on or alternatively you can uh, choose from here here you can see dynamic output so if you off this okay now this is turned off on this is uh, shown right now okay and uh, from here also you can turn on and off from here also this is dynamic input so it is checked now that's why it is showing if you uncheck then you can see it is not there check again it is coming here okay so now let's draw uh, the line let's draw the first line suppose here so click once and and move your cursor so now as you can see uh, this this uh, green line is recommending for the straight line you can see this angle is zero zero degree and this is the coordinate it is showing so 
and if you move upwards then this green line again it is coming here for first point here and second is coming here so why this is coming because th this is 90 degree angle it is recommending why because uh, you can see if you click here you can see 90 degree 180 degree 270 and 360 degree so this is checked now if I turn off if I choose another one suppose 45 degree then it will show this 0 degree then you can see this is 45 degree 45 degree this green line is showing and here 90 degree like this okay if I again go back to 90 degree then you can see at 45 degree nothing is showing only recommending 90 degree okay so let's come back to our uh, discussion topic so this is the straight line suppose uh, uh, now now you need to specify this uh, specify the dimension suppose this is 2 meter uh, suppose this is 3 meter so 3000 because it is in millimeter unit so 3000 just enter here okay now this is 3 meter okay now it's come and it is auto turned this is 90 degree here you can specify also suppose uh, I don't want 90 degree I want this suppose in this direction so first point you need to specify the length how much length you want suppose 500 mm 500 mm ne next uh, press tab tab key from your keyboard then it is asking for the angle so for this angle suppose I want this at 60 degree 60 and then enter okay so this is at 60 degree angle this line came okay like this you can draw any other line straight line suppose this is this is 180 degree this is showing so this is 180 degree suppose in this in this direction 2500 okay 2500 so like this okay now click this and you can enter here or right click and enter so this is the uh, line tool so with the help of line tool we have drawn here suppose uh, let's draw a perpendicular first of all the line suppose 2500 enter and here I want to draw a perpendicular okay as uh, here you can see if you select this line from here okay so uh, let's select the line and uh, press shift shift and right click shift and right click then this this option will come these are the options so let's say uh, perpendicular so this is the perpendicular tool so click here click here click and you can say this is perpendicular okay once again let's select this line tool move your cursor here right click press uh, shift key and right click then perpendicular okay then click here you can see so if you move the cursor then also it is fixed uh, as a perpendicular because this is 90 degree angle it is fixed so anywhere you can press okay now press enter so like this you can draw perpendicular okay now suppose this is the line and uh, this is done this is done here you can see the grid snap dynamic input ortho polar all these options are available okay now let's go to oh, this polyline polyline 
nothing you can draw anything just uh, select this polyline and click uh, specify the uh, points like this and then enter or right click and enter this is polyline and if you want to draw circle suppose in case of circle okay uh, before that i want to uh, show you one thing uh, how to uh, change the scale and what is the scale here in this model space we are working as a one is to one scale here just click here you can see this is one is to one you can customize the scale also you can choose other scales as well one is to two one is to 50 like this that means here one is equivalent to equivalent to two if it is uh, here one meter then in reality it is two meter so this is the skill concept and if, if you want to customize it then equal cast then custom if you want to add here okay okay so this dialog box will come and here you can see 1 is to 10 1 is to 20 suppose 1 is to 50 i want to add 1 is to 60 scale here so what i will do i will add here so click add then this dialog box will appear name the appearing in scale list here we can name it 1 is to 60 and here also 1 is to 60 click ok ok now as you can see it is showing here 1 is to 60 click ok let's check 1 is to 60 is coming so if you select this then your drawing will be drawn in 1 is to 60 scale now let's draw uh, this uh, circle circle are there are a lot of options how we will define suppose this is a uh, center center and radius click here and click so what will be the radius of your circle suppose i want 500 500 mm r equals to 500 mm radius click enter now it is coming okay just to move the screen you can uh, press your uh, press your wheel button uh, wheel uh, of your mouse this hand tool will come then you can move otherwise you can use this pen tool this pen then it will move okay so now if we uh, check the dimension here so this is linear dimension just check this one okay what is this so 1000 mm that means 1 meter because we have chosen for 500 mm radius of this circle so this is from the center if we want to specify the diameter circle diameter then you click here click here okay and here we need to specify the diameter suppose this is if we put again 500 okay you see this is 500 mm diameter and this is 500 mm radius that means one meter one meter as a diameter okay let's delete this dimension okay so if you wonder this two point two point circle is uh, nothing but uh, your uh, you see this diameter as if you are specifying the diameter suppose again let's say 500 so this is basically 500 uh, so one point to another point that means for 500 mm diameter this is arc so a lot of options are available so this is three point arc this is very simple one point one specify now it is uh, asking you specify second point and now specify third point so this is arc okay 
and uh, here suppose uh, uh, a polygon okay rectangle this is simple rectangle nothing special control rectangle polygon if you click here now it will ask you enter number of sides so let's say five put here and enter okay now specify center of polygon suppose here okay you can see this is polygon okay this is uh, ellipse for ellipse you can draw ellipse also like this ellipse okay now one simple thing i will uh, show you uh, how to draw a suppose uh, sinusoidal wave okay uh, before that before that i want to show you uh, 10 so or quadrant so select this circle uh, uh, press shift button right click and here quadrant if you press quadrant so this quadrant okay so to draw the quadrant just uh, as you can see this if you move this cursor so for this uh, quadrant you can see here just click here 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 and here and click enter now suppose we want to uh, draw a tangent over here click line suppose here so press a uh, shift button and right click then you can see here tangent now it is asking for the tangent position here and here also quadrant so right click tangent press here and press enter so this is tangent suppose here another tangent right click tangent and this side shift right click tangent here and press enter okay you can color this also from here suppose yellow we'll choose yellow so select the entire drawing and yellow okay now uh, one additional thing i i'll uh, want to suppose i want to draw uh, i want to draw a uh, sinusoidal curve let's uh, let's see how it will look like here okay press enter mm, press enter let's extend this point here okay now click here and here spline pit I, I will use this here towards suppose uh, press F12 because it is uh, not swing yeah now it is coming suppose in this direction I want 500 mm press tab key now you have to specify the angle suppose uh, 45 degree angle and press enter okay now towards down i want suppose this is 1000 press tab and angle uh, total 360 degree so 360 degree minus 45 degree 360 minus 45 so 315 press enter okay now towards this upward direction again uh, one meter 
uh, let's say uh, for one cycle suppose this is 500 mm press tab and angle uh, specify 45 degree press enter and here okay right click and enter so this is one cycle sinusoidal curve so after this uh, we have learned uh, in this lesson about how to draw a line polyline circle arc rectangle and perpendicular circle uh, tangent quadrant all these things in the next lesson we will learn some other things